What is going on guys? Welcome back. Commentary for you. Wanted to show you the latest update from Doug Flutie's Maximum Football. I showed the player model earlier this week, but did not have anything other than the player's base and some padding. So there were some people concerned about the pads being actually tied to the player model and how that was going to look. Well, now that you can see a jersey and pants rendered onto the player as well as socks and gloves for that matter, I think it does look very good. And I think most people would agree this is the player model we expect to see on an X-Gen console. So a big increase in graphics from last year to this year. I also want to go ahead and say, because gloves are on this player, doesn't have cleats, but does have gloves, they have signed an agreement with a company, I believe it's called Mocom, that makes a quarterback glove primarily, but that is going to be included in the game going forward as well. So not only the licensing from Wilson for the football, but now licensing in terms of apparel as gloves, and then hopefully they're going to work toward some other agreements that they've kind of teased at over the past week. But obviously, Big strides in making this game better, a week of motion capturing, and now obviously we're starting to see the player model come together and really be a much more complete product than what we saw last year. So excited to see where this game is going to go. Would love to know your opinions on this player model. I'm sure everyone over at Canuck Playwood as well. Appreciate you guys taking time to check out this video, and I will be back very shortly with more commentary.